Yes, well, for more on Disney's big miss, so Pete Kwiatkowski is on the phone with us now. He's a portfolio manager at Fifth Third Asset Management in Cincinnati. His strategic income fund has outperformed 95% of its peers over a five-year period, and his firm holds more than 744,000 shares of Disney. Pete, thanks for joining us this morning. How disappointed are you? Are you considering selling any part of your Disney stake based on these results? Well, I think at this point we're, we're going to kind of wait and see um, what the stock does. I think the stock will be in the penalty box for a while. Um, but some people out there, uh, Disney is um, a popular name. Um, it has gotten somewhat expensive, so um, it, it's possible people will look at this as a good spot to pick up exposure. Uh, definitely given the fact that Mars needs moms, everybody knew that was going to be a bomb. I think we were all surprised that it was such a such a big bomb but they do have some really big movies coming this summer so um, I believe that we're going to kind of hold right here and I think uh, it, you know we'll just have to see what the stock's reaction is so today. So you think Thor, Pirates of the Caribbean, the latest installment, Cars Part 2 is going to make up for Mars Needs Moms? We think it could go a long way to doing that. The, there's a lot of potential there with uh, Captain America. We actually thought um, Thor had a good chance to be a disappointment. It looks like it's actually going to at least meet expectations in the early returns, so that's good. Um, Pirates has been a great franchise, and Cars has been a great franchise. So um, we think at this point there's, there's a good chance that they can redeem themselves this do, summer. Do you think Bob Iger will shake up the studio at some point? I mean, it, it almost seems like he has to. Yeah, I think um, this, you know, a bomb of this uh, size, I think they're, they're going to have to do something. Um, so, you know, that when you get this kind of uh, disappointment, um, in, in our opinion, you know, they had spent a lot of money on marketing, but we hadn't really seen a whole lot out there ourselves, um, whereas, you know, Thor seemed to be a lot more visible. So I think, you know, possibly on, on the film front, also on, on the marketing front there, I think they're going to need to uh, tighten some things up. Okay, Pete, thank you very much. Pete Krakowski joining us there from Fifth Third Asset Management, saying studio changes to come, at least in his opinion, at Disney.